Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the five best things about living in Boise, Idaho, the capital of the Treasure Valley. Let's get into it. What's up guys? I'm Chase Dolan and this is the Living in Boise channel where I try to give you the inside scoop on what it's like to live, work, and play here in the Boise and Greater Treasure Valley area. If this is your first time to the channel and that interests you at all, hit that subscribe button and that tiny little bell because I release videos like this every single Tuesday and Thursday. And as much as I like putting videos like this together and engaging with you all, I love even more to help you with your real estate needs. I am a licensed agent here in the Boise area. So this number that's gonna pop up below, I am the one that answers the calls, text, emails, whatever it is. If there's any way that I can help, I would absolutely love to. But with all that being said, let's get into today's topic. talking about Boise proper, Boise, Idaho, kind of the capital city here in southwestern Idaho. Um, we talk a lot about the Treasure Valley, we talk about Meridian, Eagle, everything around it. Boise is kind of the heart of everything. It's definitely on the easternmost of kind of our metro area, but it is the one that people refer to. If you're moving up to this area, you will refer to it as, hey, I'm moving to Boise, Idaho. Boise definitely encompasses a ton of smaller neighborhoods, which we'll get into at later videos. But today we're just gonna talk about it kind of as a grand whole as to what are the things that actually draws people to this area. And then also today is gonna be completely positive. We're only looking at the things that are actual good things that pretty much everybody can get on board with here in the Boise area. And we're gonna start with number one today, which is the recreation and outdoors that are available to you if you live in this area. So I'm talking about actually in Boise, we have got access to some fantastic hiking. We got trails through the foothills. We've got a ton of parks. I'm actually standing in one over in West Boise Kleiner Park right now. Um, it's actually out by the village. So it's kind of on that tip of Boise and Meridian. We've got a ton of parks, trails, dog parks, really anything that you're looking for. If you're into the pickleball craze, that's really starting to take over anywhere that there's tennis courts there's going to be a couple dedicated. Really, if you're looking to be active at all, there is something for you here in Boise. The Greenbelt actually goes through most of our metro area, but in Boise in particular through Garden City, down through downtown by the university, all the way out to Barber Park and Barber Valley, the Greenbelt is a fantastic place. You can go for a walk during lunch, during the work week. You can take your dogs down. It's a great place to go on a bike ride. It is tens of miles long. It is not something where you're gonna get to the end of it within an hour or so. So it's always a great option. You can fish in the river. Um, Kleiner Park in particular, there is a stocked pond here here as well so you can go ahead and fish here and then getting out of the immediate Boise area we also have some really close proximity to the mountains the rivers snow resorts we have got access to a ton here in Boise you really are only 30 to 45 minutes from pretty much I care to say any kind of outdoor activity that you want you are within an hour of um, if you're living in Boise Idaho now this is a topic that I could kind of just completely ramble on, but we're gonna try and keep it a little bit brief for this video. But definitely, if you're interested in any sort of outdoor activity, drop a comment below because I would love to get in depth on kind of what that actually matters to you. But when I tell you, you probably have access to most of the outdoor activities that we have here that don't include an ocean, of course, because we are landlocked, you're gonna have somewhere in Boise that you can go to. All right, and point number two is on a relative basis, I wanna put that out there because locals will be on me for this one. Boise is still an extremely affordable place relative to where a lot of people are relocating from or some of our neighboring cities. Boise and the Treasure Valley as a whole is still more affordable than the Seattle's, the Portland's, California in particular. That's a big reason why people were flocking here over the last decade. And we've definitely closed that gap, especially as we talk about housing. Um, housing has taken a big rise here in this area. But as far as actual cost of living, Boise is still an incredibly affordable place to live. And related to that, as I go into point number three, we have a really strong job economy here. So our unemployment rate here in the Boise area compared to nationally is 2.5% compared to the national of 3.7%. So here is a great place if you're looking to build a foundation, you're looking to actually support the family, get a better job, have a good ratio of job versus the affordability, the cost of living, your salary wage kind of comparison is what I'm trying to get to. Um, Boise has a good one. Now, 
the average salary for people working here in the area is about $60,000. Again, something that I want to underline is the affordability of Boise is pretty much across the board. Housing is the one area that there are some issues. Our housing is moving up quite a bit quicker than our wage growth, to be completely honest. It is something that we're trying to work on. But when you're looking at this area versus some other places, Boise is gonna be a really good place for you to get the most bang for your buck. And this is somewhere where we've had a lot, especially during the pandemic. Part of our growth was people moving here, having their wages from out of state and taking advantage of that affordability. Now, on the horizon, I do see this changing because part of us being such a fast growing area is drawing a lot of tech companies. We're drawing a lot of the bigger companies to actually build and expand base of operations here, which is going to bring more jobs. We're seeing that already with some of our new facilities being announced. Micron is a massive, massive company here, and they just continue to expand in Southeast Boise. Meta building something out in CUNA. We're only seeing that continue to grow. So there are some great job prospects if you're trying to find a specific niche, especially in the tech world. And with all that to be said, this is us talking right now where Boise still has a lot of room to grow. As much as we're growing quickly and we want to keep some of that small town feel, our downtown in particular still has a lot of room to grow. And we're seeing more and more companies from certain industries, financial firms, etc., are starting to bring actual branches here, which again, will only lead to stronger job growth. Now, diverting away from the affordability, kind of the job economy, we're gonna talk about one of the other great things about Boise, Idaho. Number four, the weather. I am somebody who absolutely loves having all four seasons. Right now, we're in the middle of summer, so I don't know if you can tell that I'm a little flush. It's definitely starting to get warm. Our summers here don't get extremely aggressive, but we do have, I would say about a month, month and a half of it'll be 90 and above kind of consistently, but we only typically have every single year a week or two where we're in the hot, hot zones, where if you're not outside in water somewhere, you're probably inside in the AC. That's kind of all that we get here though. We don't get that massive extreme. Now, we are, I would classify us as we're in a valley and we're in a little bit of a desert, so things do get kind of hot here on a regular, but for the most part, our climate stays pretty neutral. And something that I see as a big pro is we do get all four of those seasons. So we don't just get winter and summer and we're kind of flipping between cold and hot. We have a really good spring here, as well as an awesome autumn and fall where all of these trees that are throughout our city change colors. It's one of the most beautiful times of year, but we also kind of just hover around that 50 to 70 degree weather for quite a bit of time. As we move into winter, we definitely, same thing with summer, we don't get a ton of extreme, extreme, extreme cold. As somebody who has been here for quite some time, in the winter, I tend to expect two snowstorms a year where you're actually getting out with quite a bit where you have to shovel to be able to move your car around. For the most part, we get a lot of dustings. It kind of melts throughout the day. As you get up into the mountains, the foothills obviously are gonna get more and more. But then with that, we also only probably get a few weeks a year where we are under zero or kind of under that single digits temperature. We don't get a ton of extreme there, but when it comes, it comes. Now, something that I want you to be aware of is with all four of these seasons, kind of as we come out of winter into spring, Boise definitely has with our valley as well as the Pacific Northwest, we have something called inversions. So this is where when I first came up here for school, my first year here, we had about a two month inversion where there was just cloud cover every single day. Basically an inversion is where the sun never clip, kind of breaks through the clouds. It is cloud cover every single day for an extended period of time. Now, that extreme of over the span of weeks and months is not what typically happens, but we definitely have a little bit of a period there as we transition from the cold to a little bit warmer, where you are gonna have that inversion, which can kind of mess with your internal clock and such. Once you get used to it, it is something that is completely normal, but I will put that out there. That is an adjustment for a lot of people. And now for the final thing that we're gonna talk about today is number five of the best things about Boise, Idaho is downtown Boise. Downtown Boise is a hidden gem. When you're comparing it to some of the other big cities around kind of this part of the country, Seattle, Portland, Denver, of course, Los Angeles, San Francisco are on a completely different level, but it's gonna feel a little bit smaller, but it is growing and it is growing rapidly, which is bringing a lot of cool things while still keeping a lot of the things that made Boise fantastic to live in. Yeah, that's 100% uh, accurate. There's a massive local focus when we're looking at the restaurants, the coffee shops, shopping, everything like that. They really try to only cater to those local places. Of course, we have the bigger chain restaurants, people opening other locations kind of coming, but there's definitely a local focus down there. Now, also with that, the arts and festival scene has definitely continued to grow, but there are a couple here, Tree Fort Music Festival, which happens once a year, 
It happens in the spring and it is a three day festival typically with all sorts of different tree fort themed um, stations. Music is at the heart. There's ale fort, which is all about the craft beer scene here. And then there's gonna be a ton of kind of sub forts, comedy fort, tech fort, all of these kinds of things. But it is something that pretty much takes over our downtown for about a week here in the spring. We also have the Idaho Shakespeare Festival, which happens in Southeast Boise, where there is a theater troupe that comes every single year. And there's always about four to five shows that take place over kind of the summer months, where it's an outside amphitheater, there's food, there's drink, there's comedy, drama, whatever it is that you're looking for. But you have access to a lot of those. And we're seeing more and more of those arts and festivals just continue to grow as the population grows and more different interests kind of start to come into our area. And finally, all of this happens without it feeling like an incredibly large downtown. Yes, we need more parking. They're working on that. But for the most part, you can walk downtown and not feel like you're in the tightest area possible. Now, and this is a little bit of a bonus one, and it's a little bit of a cop out, but one of the best things about living here is when you're trying to make a video about the top five best things about living in Boise, there is a much longer list than that. But until you have a question, drop your comment below. I would love to hear kind of what you're saying, but until the next video, talk to y'all later.